U.S. sabotaged Kim's missile launch. North Korea's embarrassing missile launch failure may have been caused by U.S. cyber attack. Former Foreign Secretary Malcolm Rifkind claims American intelligence has foiled similar nuke tests. The, U the U.S. may have sabotaged Kim Jong-un's missile test yesterday through a cyber attack causing the rocket to sp spectacularly flop according to a former British foreign secretary. Sir Malcolm Rifkind claims American intelligence has used cyber warfare to successfully foil missile tests before and that there is a strong, quote, belief that President Trump's administration was behind North Korea's latest failed launch. Sir Malcolm Rifkind claims the U.S. could have sabotaged North Korea failed missile launch. Speaking with BBC, he said it could have failed because the system is not complete enough to make it work. But there is a very strong belief that the U.S. through cyber methods has been successful on several occasions in interrupting these sorts of tests and making them fail. But Sir Malcolm, who served as Foreign Secretary from 1995 to 1997 in John Major's government, did warn that despite the missile flop, North Korea remains a serious nuclear th threat. He said, quote, but don't get too excited by that. They've also had quite a lot of successful tests. Quote, they are an advanced country when it comes to their nuclear weapons program. That still remains a fact, a hard fact. South Korea's military reported the launch attempt near Sinpo region, the same area from which the North tested a ballistic missile last month. U.S. officials said the missile in the test exploded on launch, but they don't know exactly what type of weapon it was. The incident is likely to escalate the rising tensions between the U.S. and North Korea over Pyongyang's rogue nuclear weapons ambitions. It came a day after the parade marking 105 years since the states found Kim Il-sung was born. Smiling at his, the military as they marched by. Nuclear warhead to ballistic missiles. Two nations are at the, quote, brink of war, China has warned. North Korea's bid to build a nuclear missile arsenal. Relations are at an all-time low with the two countries. Thousands of North Korean women took part in the spectacle. North Korea has tested several missiles recently. They launched, launched a long-range rocket and conducted two nuclear tests last year, including its most powerful to date, as well as carrying out a slew of shorter-range missile firings. A smirking Kim Jong-un watched a, few, uh, a fervent military parade just hours after telling America, quote, we're ready for war. Chief among the devastating arsenal on show during the parade was a KN-08 rocket thought to be capable of flying more than 7,000 miles within range of Los Angeles, New York, and Washington, D.C. U.S. military experts react with shock to the display as one admitted, quote, we're floored right now. the blast radius of missiles and their nuclear capability. Shell-shocked North Korean experts admit the secretive nation now appears far more advanced than previously thought. Dave Schmel, whatever, Schmerler, 
a research associate at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies in California, told the Wall Street Journal, quote, we're totally floored right now. I was not expecting to see this many new missile designs. Also on display was a similarly devastating KN-14 rocket. Thousands of heavily armed North Koreans <clears throat> excuse me, marched through capital Pyongyang alongside the missiles as the smiling despot uh, lapped up the adoration of his fanatical military, many reduced to tears by his mere presence. Only hours earlier, a top general had told State TV, quote, we're prepared to respond to an all-out war with an all-out war. North Korean military official Chao Ryong Hae said, quote, if the United States wages reckless provocation against us, our revolutionary power will instantly counter with an annihilating strike with our style of nuclear strike warfare. Ko's menacing words carried extra threat given many Western commentators, uh, Western commentators consider him the country's second in command. Tanks roll down Pai Gang Gang's main square. Thousands rise to their feet and salute. Vast majority of the country's top brass were in attendance. Widespread earlier fears that Kim would use the day of the sun holiday to carry out a six nuclear warhead test explosion have yet to materialize. Kim was celebrating the 105th anniversary of the birth of, the, of grandfather Kim Il-sung, the founder of the communist state, wearing a black suit the 33-year-old tyrant stepped out of a limousine and onto a red carpet as he arrived for the event in the capital. There he watched thousands of fanatical soldiers goose step through Kim Il-sung Square while intercontinental ballistic missiles shared the tarmac with tanks and assault vehicles. The saber-rattling display comes just a day after China warned that, quote, war could break out at any moment. A U.S. naval task force is on its way to the Korean Peninsula in a show of force to nuclear-seeking Kim. This is the parade. Giant statue there. Many dancers in red. And Trump forces yesterday put their on their own show as U.S. tanks were pictured carrying out drills in. The North Korean army has already threatened to pulverize the U.S. as tension soar and claims John, Kim Jong-un could hit Western targets with his missiles within four years. The two countries have been facing off over Pai Young Yang's rogue atomic ambitions in recent weeks. U.S. soldiers, military exercise near the border between South and North Korea. Kim Jong un looks set to carry out the sixth nuclear test. We read that. Anyway, it seems like the U.S. has uh, attacked that missile, and that's what caused it to fail. Um, but they don't state it like as fact as of yet. So we'll keep you updated on any uh, thing that comes up. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.